Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to discuss how over the past few weeks Starmer and Labour's moves almost seem like some are intended just to troll the Tories at this point. That's how confident they are now. This even includes hiring, never mind former civil servant Sue Gray, but get this, Labour have hired Boris Johnson's former wife. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel. So, uh, I mean, the Labour conference has started now. There was uh, absolutely packed halls to listen to senior members of the Labour leadership today, in stark contrast to the Conservatives. And I did a video uh, last month on how Keir Starmer seemed happy to mention the unmentionables for Labour, asylum and Brexit. You know, the party's got policies on both, but they generally don't want to waste bandwidth on them with the mainstream media because the economy, education, healthcare are their main buttons to push. And Starmer was at it again on the BBC this morning as he tackled his views on asylum again. Of course, he was asked the question, so he had to answer it. He doesn't pick the questions, but it was really easy to answer the questions quickly, clearly, concisely, and then move on so that Victoria Derbyshire has to spend more time on other topics. But Starmer actually elaborated on his answers. This should be the stuff of madness. Talking about a divisive topic, which is normally in the Tories' safe place. But things have changed. And Labour are now feeling that asylum is their area now. He can even come out and say, I will scrap the Rwanda scheme. It's been their policy from day one, by the way. It's been their clear policy. But he's coming straight out and say, he was asked, oh, even if um, the Supreme Court allows it, yeah, we'll reverse it. Uh, even if it works. He could have just said, people have pointed out, he could have just said, well, it's not going to work, is it? And it's not going to work. It's never going to work. He didn't bother saying that. I said, yeah, even if it works, we're not going to do it. It's rubbish. You know, this is how things have changed. The, the Tories have so obviously bungled it and so obviously have no serious plans. Labour can come waltzing in and talk about the topic much more confidently than even Conservative ministers can. But the trolling reached a new level at the weekend. So Labour are in the process of hiring advisers in preparation for government. You know, so it's not just so much uh, strategic advisers as political advisers to form policy, which can be turned into legislation and regulations when it's in government. The most famous star appointment was, of course, Sue Gray, a coup that completely took the Tories by surprise and caused no small measure of sulking in the right wing media. They took it so badly that, that Rishi Sunak got the cabinet secretary, Simon Case, to write a stitch-up report attacking Gray for the move, even though Akoba had said, no, everything was done by the book, it's all fine. And now Gray is Starmer's chief of staff, has been since last month, helping get Labour ready to get into gear seamlessly. As soon as Keir Starmer comes back from the palace, that's it, they're into it. But an even more hilarious appointment's now taken place. Labour have hired a senior barrister to advise them on protecting women who need to report sexual harassment in the workplace. Now, this is, of course, perfectly normal. Of course, you would get a barrister uh, to do something like that, a senior barrister. Marina Wheeler, KC, seems qualified for the role. Her bio on her Chambers profile cites her as being an expert in public sector equality duties. She is an expert in employment law. So just the sort of person who might be able to help inform policies on protecting women who need to call out sexual harassment. Only as well as being a senior barrister. She also happens to be the former wife of Boris Johnson. And there is an interesting irony that cannot be lost on people who pay attention to Westminster politics. In the fact, Boris Johnson, I mean, we talk about the things that started his, his dissent, you know, his policies that were annoying a lot of blue wall voters. And remember, you know, he lost a safe Tory seat in a by-election before the scandals. But then the scandals, the Owen Paterson scandal, the Partygate scandal, all the rest of it. But ultimately, he was brought down because of his backing of a sex pest, albeit one who was sexually harassing men. And Labour are now hiring his former wife in order to improve policies designed to help people push back against sex pests. This is surely troll of the year. I don't want to downplay the real reason for the appointment, serious matter. The policy being driven is to give women who are sexually harassed in the workplace 
full whistleblower rights and protections. But this must outdo the Sue Gray appointment for top trolling. Well played, Starmer. Well played. Just final point, I will say that all the videos that come out on Monday and Tuesday, by the way, uh, are being recorded today. That is because I'll be in Liverpool uh, tomorrow and Tuesday. So if anything spectacular happens in the news, yeah, I shall get to it on Wednesday. Uh, but there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.